Hey everyone, this is Atomic uh, taking over Andy War's channel for around 30 minutes. Um, so let's delve into the game. So a bit of confession, I was playing through Ethan Carter Redux edition and trying to sort of maybe get up to a level of where this game is at, this version. The Red X version obviously gives some extras and apparently more saves or options to save. So I've actually come back to the original version and so what I'm going to do is show you what I discovered earlier today. But what I do intend to do is work through the Red X version and get it up to this level and just continue playing on that version. Okay, get ready for some screen drops. Okay, so... Um, obviously the Redux version started me at the very beginning, so... what I decided to do was... Um, was to go back uh, run through the tunnel and I got the the achievement award so apparently there's more than one trap so but it led I was starting to lead to something so what it did was I decided to stop because I, d I wanted to share the experience with with you guys so let's just get back to that point and see we'll be editing some of this guys so You folks don't have to sit through it, like the edit we just passed. Hopefully this week we get a smoother run and less crashes. Last week was a bit of a, a nightmare to be honest. Yeah, the train car is back to where it was because the game didn't save last week if you remember. Um, you obviously need to complete a clue or part of the puzzle or find something new in the game for it to uh, activate a save point. You remember last week I had the... the uh, love and fun scared out of me um, with the traps. There we so this is the part of discovered, right? So you see the way it's for anybody that's playing this, if you already know this, then I don't need to explain but for those who don't. Um, it reveals a part for every piece you unlock. So And then I came around. I just want to make sure I get this right. Because there's traps all over this place. And actually what I'll do is I'll just trample all over it and see. Okay, there's one there. And I didn't get the jump scares that I got the last time, so <laughs> nobody missed anything, believe you me. So it reveals another piece from it. Um, there was that trap there. It's a trap. Ooh. I actually knew that that was there, but I didn't expect that, to be honest. see there's another piece and there's another piece somewhere else where the hell was it come on yeah it's right here somewhere as far as I remember all right come on come out show us there we go 
Would he have to get caught in some other scene or that? So that does that, right? No. Where is the other bit? Can we open around this? Okay, that's not gonna go. Okay, so came around here, right, and engage that trap. Then come around here, and there should be another one somewhere. Is that there, or is that one I've already done? Yeah, I did have done that one. Yeah. So. Um, so come around there, around here I mean, and did this through here, come on, where are you? Through here maybe? Poor stick. That used to be a piece of a tree. Anyway, so this is okay. So this is where I stopped. So let's see where this leads. Okay. Let's pick this up. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night someone set fire to the forest. When the fire spread to the village, the old man escaped the fire by Covering himself in sap, when he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Okay. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Oh, nice. Because scene safe. Oh. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a new piece of newspaper clipping. No, don't do that. Space, right. One dead in the house. Fire by Jeff. Bayfield County. Fire damaged. Historic home in Red Creek Valley, Wednesday morning. According to officials from the Bayfield County Fire Department, a family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out and the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandergriff at 46 Old Ogden Road in Red Creek Valley, Kill Carter 58 was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property for four they returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hotspots which had rekindled. Assisting at the initial fire was the Ashland Township Volunteer Fire Department, Masonville Emergency Medical Services. So it's down by the scene. Now there's bound to be something on the back of that. There we go. After he had a public hearing, no answers for on the grifters. 
Bayfield County members of the Vandegrift family again gathered in the Bayfield County House, County Country, Country House today to debate the fate of Vandegrift Fortune, which has remained in escrow since 1961, when family patriarch Albert Vandegrift, 71, died in a mine accident. The after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandegrift Industrial and severely damaged the local economy. Was I doing a voice just then? James Vandegrift, 38, of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many Vandegrift family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley. On the Vandegrift estate, a stipulated in the elder. Well, the recent fire in which the Vandegrift home was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concerns. Since 1967, the Carter family has lived upon the former Vandegrift estate as temporary caretakers. Hmm. Pack of Marlboro cigarettes. Well, it looks like. I don't know what that is. It, it looks like they're brown, though. Okay, so. Where the hell did all the skulls go? Hmm. That was a very interesting piece to the puzzle, I think. No. Okay, right. Can't go down that, can you know? Alrighty. I don't think there's much else laying around. No. So, it seems to be in this game, the more of the puzzle that you find, the more of the images revealed, you know, on those when Paul has to sense the environment or the thing that he's in order to activate the psychic powers, I suppose you would say. So if that's the case, it must be the same with the rear car. So let's do that. Yes, yeah, so we've done this, I don't know how many times Fresh Scratch recently used. Crank. Yeah, it shows this crankshaft down. On the shore line. So there's no point in doing that because if I do that it's not gonna work. So there's nothing else to be done it's really hard no? Nope. Alright then. I do believe the next part was you obviously follow the train tracks and we come across the oh. untied tied no blood so we are free from here then Legs got taken off here. Dragged away, victim dragged away, crawled away. Again? I don't know. I 
Then there was the thing with the stone as well, so we're, we'll go and do that as well, see if we can get this to reveal anymore. Blood loss or head trauma. Not yet. Served by a party, routed over time. Was the rock was the rock used to hit the poor guy on the head? So what we'll do is right, we'll go down here and get the crank, then come back up and get the go for the stone maybe. Okay, there's there. Let's inspect this. So those little things actually reveal more and more of the um, puzzle. Right, so think there's anything down here? Anything else even? Alright then. Okay. Is this the place where it had the disturbed rock? Mm, it wasn't. It's the other side, wasn't it? Yeah. It is quite annoying, the uh, rinse repeat on these games, but sometimes you feel like you're knocking your head on a rock. Okay, here we go. So, there's this part down here, if we remember. So it mentions about the rock that I have a fresh start. Come on! used to bash his head in, yeah. Alright. Actually, f so... So do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we go up and put the, um, the light on the front of that. It looks relatively brand new. Hmm. Um, for an old real car that is. Um, I think if I dropped carelessly purpose around the rush. Okay. So I think what we do is, right, is we, the rock should be up and around here as far as I remember. Yeah. 
definitely looks like a murder weapon to me. So I think what we do is, right, is we go up, get the rail car, bring the rail car back down to that spot, put the rock in, and then go back to the body. Maybe that'll resolve some of the, you know, Okay, let's put the crank in and see what happens. Tappy, tappy, tappy. And you keep clicking the left mouse. Get the engine started. And then let's get in and take it back down the track. The other thing I've done is take it forward. Lovely day for a drive, isn't it? Probably not going Nope. Oh, my head can go right around, look. It's the exorcist. There we go. Sorry, mate. I'll have to run over your legs again. Why do we say that? See. Maybe a few feet. Okay, so I'm getting that sound we just heard, right? Is a signal that... So let's pop this rock back in here and now try the Oh yes, here we go. Okay, um, I think I'm going to leave it he here for this episode, guys, and then come back and solve this next time. So that's all for me. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Bye now.